uh, praises to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rechak Wadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting a good fight of faith and truth, in sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Aqwa, which is the women believers, Shalom to you. It said, forsake the foolish and live and go in the way of understanding. So the reason I want to make this video is because I was thinking about, you know, the faith that we have. And the faith that we have, it pays at the end. You know, we are on a path called the straight gate. So things don't go your way. You see people who do the opposite of you, but they chilling, they prospering, you know, they don't have no care in the world. And, you know, I made a video a while ago talk about how we're programmed with the faith. And that's very true. But see, our faith. It don't pay into the end why everything else pays right now. So you got the wicked of our people. They winning the wicked, the actual wicked. They winning the heathens. They winning, you know, but here's the thing. Like I always say, the Bible gives you the why of everything. Our transgressions against the Lord put us in this situation and the curses in Deuteronomy 28 and 43. He said that the heathen, which is. That is within you should get very high. and You should get very low. You have to go to him for one of all things. So, you know, that's why they in your community selling you things. And you are the consumer, not the producer. They the producer. They get your money. All right. They shut. They set up shop in your neighborhoods. So that's an example. So I was thinking about, you know, we don't get paid to the end. That's why the scripture says in Matthew 24 and 13, he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. So one scripture that I um that I always meditate on, especially when, you know, you have a bad day. You know, one thing about this walk, you're going to have more bad days than good, you know, because you're vexed with the things that's going on around you. And then, you know, you always got demons trying to mess with you, too, you know. Cause that's their job. So, you know, the thing was beautiful about this troop is the Lord told us that all these things was going to happen. It said, verily, verily, I say unto you that you shall weep and lament, but the world shall rejoice and ye shall be sorrowful, but your sorrow shall be turned into joy. See, see how everything is at the end, the conclusion of the matter. So. I want to name this video, if I remember, understanding seals your faith, because, you know, like I said. Everybody have faith. Everybody have faith in something, you know, so. Our faith pays at the end. People don't have the faith that we have because the Lord didn't give it to them. So I'm going to use an example how, you know, understanding seals our faith. Because. You know how we always say that, you know, you could preach until your face turn blue. But we don't know if we part of the elect. So that means we could say what we ain't going to do. We could say we ain't going to take the chip. We could say that, you know, we ain't going to, you know, get hastily. We're going to depend on the Lord when the famine comes. We, we could say all that stuff, but we really don't know. Because a man's goings of the Lord. So. Faith, right? Say you come across some money and you meet a man who you think is good with investments. Look like he got his stuff together. So you got some money. You came across some money. You have faith that your money can make more money because you met the man who's good at investment. So this man tells you, put your money here, you know, do this and do that. So you do this and do that. Put your money there. But then something happened. It don't goes the way that you thought. But before the turmoil came, you had faith. You had faith that, OK, yeah, I got some money. I came across some money. Oh, I met the man who, who knows all about investments. I'm going to go to him, get some advice. He told me to do this and do that. I did this. So now you waiting for the investment to come back. But then something happened. It didn't go the way that you planned. Now your faith is done. All right. You went in with faith. Now your faith is done. But see, that's the that's the example that I'm making. 
So right now we're preaching, we believe in, we on the highways and byways, hot and cold, in and out, in season, out of season, doing the sit downs during the week. And then when turmoil come, if you don't have understanding, you're going to fall. Because see, death is going to stare you in the face. So you have to ask yourself, are you ready? That's why the scripture says in 2 Corinthians 13 and 5, examine yourself daily. You got to know what you're a part of. In Luke 14, I want to say 28, it said count the cost. You got to know what you're a part of. So our glory is at the end. It's a straight gate, position of difficulty. And use an example of, you know, you will have to stare deaf into the face. You will have to stare deaf in the face. That's inevitable. But see, understanding will make you run through the tape. Understanding seals your faith. Because right now, a lot of people think they got faith. But if you don't have understanding your faith, it ain't going to last. As it says in Proverbs 24 and 10, if you uh, faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. So you can come in, have a strength, just like a man going into a boxing gym. I mean, a boxing ring, you know, it's fight day. He'd been training his ass off. Now he get up in the ring, get hit one good time. His whole game plan go out the door. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this, but this is real, man. Understanding seals your faith. So let's continue because this is a good point right here. So now. The Lord said he going to come to our joy at the end. Right. So a woman, she is in travail, have sorrow because her hour has come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remember no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world. So the Lord like to use symbolism, especially with um, women, you know, having a child, because the process of having a child is painful. I've been in a room with a woman having my child. All right. All that hooting and hollering. But then after the baby come out, which that's symbolized of us receiving the kingdom. All right. When the baby come out after the turmoil was done. Now you got joy. Now the now the woman holding the baby and she kissing the baby. And she's like, oh, my God, he's so cute. You know, so. It says, and, and ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again and your heart shall rejoice in your in. Your joy, no man take it from you. So that's what we have to look forward to. And all of this comes from the Lord. The reason that we believe what we believe, the reason that we go hard, because the Lord put it inside of us. And it's the understanding. Because right now, like I said, a lot of people got faith. Even, even false prophets have faith. The things that they teach, they believe that they're right. And then they go out on the highways and byways with the faith that when I go out there, I'm going to preach and I'm going to make it back home. Every time that a person get into a car, you got faith. All right. That because if you didn't have faith, you wouldn't even get into a car. If you was really that scared, you wouldn't get into a car. All right. But every every person that get into a car, you have faith that you're going to make it to your destination and back, especially if you are a driver. That's that's what you do. You know. Of course, you always have the possibilities. You always have the. You know, anything, you know, people the saying anything possible, anything can happen. Of course, you got that in your mind, but your faith still makes you continue to keep going. All right. So faith. A lot of people have it. But understanding seals your faith. Let's continue. All right. So. um, But there is a spirit in man. And the inspiration of the almighty give them understanding. All right. So that means going back to the point of this video, when it do get hard, when Jacob's trouble do come. See, the Lord put it in certain men's spirit. Understanding. We understand reincarnation. We understand he that dive in the Lord should be risen first. He that stands so stiffly for the name of the Lord should get a crown on her head. So many scriptures, right? But see, it's a difference between quoting scriptures, knowing scriptures, 
but understanding scripture. See, when you understanding, that's knowledge and wisdom together. Knowledge is information. All right. Wisdom is how you apply the information and understanding is both put together. All right. Understanding is usually you have to be battle tested. See, none of us have been battle tested in this life. You know what death is, even though we see it all around us. But see. The story is written already. The scripture said that we going to win. Talk about the believers. But see, understanding. All right. Because see, you want another thing that brings understanding to us. Scripture that I always quote, bless are your eyes for they see, bless are your ears for they hear. See, we see things that the world can't see. We see prophecies coming to pass. The prophecies that came to pass, we understand them. We can go into history and point it out. That builds up our faith. When it, when, when it goes into prophecies, the deep mysteries of the scriptures, that's understanding right there. So you have to really look at how beautiful this truth is because, you know, the world call our chariots of salvation UFOs. Most people you tell about UFOs, they think that you bugged out and they the ones that's fucking bugged out because they believe that's little green men in those in those um vehicles, little gray heads with big black eyes, four foot tall. You know, they the ones that should be bugged out. They are bugged out, but I'm just saying the world will receive that more than we saying that. No, those are our chariots of salvation. The angels are in those. We are more bugged out than people who believe in aliens. So Proverbs um, 29, 18, where there is no vision, the people perish. See, that's understanding right there. To have foresight. A prudent man foresee of the evil. That's foresight. Everybody didn't receive that gift. So a scripture that I that I always quote. And get sometimes. It said he that love his life should lose it. Do you understand how hard that is to a person who don't have understanding? Because like I said, if you if you go talk to a Christian, they believe in sweet Jesus. They love sweet Jesus. But when it talks about sacrificing, oh, they can't do that. So they're hypocrites. And that's why the scripture says, if you believe on me, as the scriptures have said, see, they don't believe on the Lord as the scripture has says that that's where understanding come from. And he that hated his life in this world should keep it into life eternal. You know. Do you really believe that? Understanding seals your faith because like you can read about it. You could fake act like you know about it. You could fake and act like you believe it. But faith without works is dead. Understanding that you cannot just profess with your mouth. And then don't do nothing for the Lord and think that you're going to be delivered or think that you holy. The scripture said faith without works is dead. The scripture says, um, show me faith. Matter of fact, let me just get it. So it says, even so, faith, if it have not works, is dead of being alone. Yeah, man may say you has faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works and I will show you my faith by my works. So that's a sacrifice. He that hated his life in this world. Do you understand by doing the works of the Lord? You already are cast out as the filth of the world. Your family separate from you. You got to hide it from your job. You, you're Clark Kent out here. All right. You were a regular civilian. At, the, um, you know, when you're outside, you know, except for some people who try to be overrighteous. But you're a regular civilian when you're outside. You don't um show your hand. At least if you have wisdom. When you at work, they don't know nothing about you. That, that's a sacrifice, because guess what? You can't even be your real self in the real world. You can't just tell anybody about the truth. So guess what? 
faith without works is dead. That that that's a sacrifice. Because every day that you outside as a regular civilian, you have faith. You still believe what you believe. And then if somebody do uh, blow your cover, you got to stand stiffly for that. From what I heard through my apostles and elders, you know, a lot of people fell out the truth because of a job, a woman, whatever the case may be. So but guess what? They had faith before term oil came. That's the point of this video. See, understanding. See, the Lord can bless you with another job and even a better job. The Lord can bless you with a woman and another woman, a better woman. But see, if you don't have understanding of that and you're just going through the motions, then yeah, you will fall. So the point is this. It's a sacrifice what we go through, but it's worth it. And only understanding will make you feel like it's worth it. To make you understand that it's worth it. That's why we got to continue to stay prayed up. We got to continue to stay prayed up and ask the Lord to build our faith and strength to endure to the end. Because we still have a bumpy ride to go. It's just getting good. It's just getting started. What's happening in Israel is a beautiful thing. As the scripture says in Matthew 24 and 8, you know, wars and rumors of wars, but the end is not yet. Cause there's still more things to come. So you, that means, so Matt, I'm a quick example before I end it. This is a very important scripture. You know, this is a scripture that most people know we used to read this all the time. And, but th this is a very important scripture because this is an understanding scripture right here. And fear not them, which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. So after you die, your spirit go back to the Lord, man. They could cut you up in a million pieces. You don't feel it. You in the spirit world chilling. All right. They, so like I seen videos where the man is obviously dead and a man put in a clip, you know, an extra clip and shoot him an extra 13 times. He's already dead. All right. So after your life force is cut off, you go back to the father. That's it. It's nothing more that he can do. So it said, but rather fear him, which is able to kill both soul and body in hell. So that's who you need to fear. The one who control the spirits. The one who could put you in a situation that, ooh, I don't even, man. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Do you understand that the Lord going to resurrect people just for them to get hit with a missile? That's all in the scriptures. Some waking up to everlasting life. Some is waking up to condemnation. Waking up is talking about resurrection. Not born in the kingdom. All right. When Yahweh Shah died on the cross the first time, people walked out of the grave. That's Matthews 27 and 52. If you don't believe me. All right. Lived a full life. So it's going to happen again. It's nothing new under the sun. But this time people are going to get rewarded. According to their works. So forsake the foolish and live. Go in the way of understanding. That's a sacrifice. No matter how hard it is, no matter how unfair it seems, the Lord said, let favor be shown to the wicked. This is their world. But Psalm 73 and 17, it said, until I went to the sanctuary of the Lord, then I understood their end. So don't nobody go unpunished into their grave. Ooh, I was going to say something that would have been an extra 20 minutes because I don't want to get too deep. So if, if nobody go unpunished to their grave and you know people died, like you can go to these old ass crackers who were slave masters, you know what I'm saying, who just died of old age. They obviously went to, you know, their grave unpunished. So what you think that mean? Hmm. Use logic. I'm gonna let your mind, uh, you know, think about that. But all praises to Yahweh Ba Shim Yahweh Shai. Hopefully this video is edifying. Stay prayed up. Shalom.